morning, everybody. Uh, I'm not my <laughs> This is uh, Midlife Travel Tales, Dane and Cindy, and we're now in the Western Cape part of the garden route. We're at uh, Donnerstown. Okay, look behind us, look at the beautiful night ahead. It is a bit windy today. You can see our hair blowing. It's one of the most beautiful parts of this garden route. Yeah, it's just stunning. So, we're going to show you around Nisna as we head towards the Manus. So here we are at the famous Nisner Heads and there's telescopes you can look out for whales and all of that out here but look down here this is the famous Nisner Heads around here this is the entrance into the Nisner Lagoon but uh, don't know if we'll see whales today it's quite rough out there but uh, just absolutely absolutely beautiful so we've come down the hill we were up on top of the hill up top there but now we're down here it's lovely eh? yeah very nice you get quite a lot of accommodation it looks like like um uh, villas and things to stay around here so there's some restaurants right on the heads here uh been recommended for pizza handmade we might come to this uh italian one for lunch and that is what your view is absolutely absolutely gorgeous and there's Cindy coming out of the forest because I just left her while she was reading signboards. Yeah, I was thinking about it. There's a shipwreck somewhere here. I think it was a Spanish ship, the Paquita. Paquita, yeah. Yeah, somewhere around here. Yeah, probably in the heads just here. Yeah. It's, it's an archaeological site that's protected. Oh, okay. And you can have a picnic here, it looks like. There's the National Sea Rescue Institute, some of the houses up on the cliffs here. It is just the maze on the heads, not the cliffs. It's just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. This is a lovely little road um, on Leisure Isle, Leisure Island. And um, there's some beautiful homes right across the road from where the lagoon comes in. Look at these mansions, some of them. Absolutely beautiful. These homes are big, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look, look at these gorgeous, gorgeous homes. Wow. That's right across the road from the sea. Right across the road from the sea. Absolutely gorgeous. So, we found a fantastic coffee shop here on Tyson Island, Apollo Coffee. And uh, we just had one of the best cups of coffee, eh? That's just uh, really a great cup. We, we did read about it on uh, Google reviews. But, uh, and there's our Cinnabomb. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Did you enjoy it, mate? Yeah, that looks amazing. Yeah, and that cappuccino was just amazing as well. Everyone says the best cup here, the best cup. Yeah, so if you're in Nisla, Tyson Island, Apollo Coffee. So we are walking around Tyson Island, and we're in an area called Tyson Harbour Town. And it's such a lovely little area. There's art galleries and restaurants and coffee shops. There's a bit of a plan of it. Cindy's having a look. But if you look out here, look how, look how lovely it is. We're going to wander down that street as well. The one thing about the Cape is you get a lot of homemade stuff, uh, great restaurants, good coffee. Hey, my honey, that was a lovely cup of coffee we had. And uh, just all these yeah. quaint little places and it's all very clean. Yeah, very, the, very the clean. It definitely has a lot more, is a lot more arty, crafty yeah. um, a, a, a area. Yeah, this is a restaurant called The Nest yeah, that was, was recommended. recommended yeah. yeah, we're not going to come eat yet today, but it's just wandering through. I'm just showing you what kind of, at, what's here at uh, Harbour Town, Tessin Harbour Town. It's, it's really lovely, hey? Wow, that looks lovely. Really, really nice. Hello, how are you? Good, and how are you? Good, thank you. So that's really, really nice. Hey? Oh, wow, look up there with the wooden beams and the... Wow, it's called the nest, eh? I'm, I'm from Margate. Yo, are you from Margate? Ah, oh, that's cool. So Alan is the concierge of the hotel here, the, the loft boutique hotel. And uh, 
it was the original boat house, Alan was telling us. So this was the original boat house, yeah, Alan? So in 1966, they used to build all the wooden yachts here. Yeah. Uh, so all the wood came from the sawmill, all your rosewood and ironwood. Wow. And they used to build the yachts inside here and launch them out the front. Wow, well, it's, it's such a beautiful spot, so eh? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour, and then I'm going to explain everything to you while Shame. I'm giving you the tour. Thanks, buddy. Much cool. appreciated. No worries. Loft Boutique Hotel. And uh, wow, this is lovely over the Neisner, Neisner Lagoon. So this is all seawater that you're looking at here. So the ocean, this high tide that is coming in now. You can see how clear the water is. Yeah. These railway lines that you see in front of you, these are the railway lines where they used to launch the boats. Oh, okay. So out of the boat jet, they used to launch them through here to the old harbor, which is to your left hand side. Wow. And yeah. look at that view there, the yachts. And then we get the best sunsets in Neisner. Oh, is this where the sunset is? <laughs> yeah. So that's. And then we, in December time, we have a DJ oh, okay. on the left hand side, so he yeah. plays chill music. The There's the yacht. Enjoy the sunsets, and they have wow. their lunch. And just again, stunning, stunning views. So, How long have you been here, Alan? So I've been here two years. Now. Two years, enjoy it. Yeah, I love it. You yeah. love Nice, eh? I love Nice. I also love it because my wife also works here. Oh, okay. Well, that, that, yeah, yeah. that, makes, that makes it better. Yeah. My wife is the executive housekeeper. Her name is Benice, so she's more back of house. And okay. I'm, I'm more the front. Oh, that's people. awesome, bud. Yeah. So here we at one of the rooms in the tower room. The tower room. Wow, this is oh nice and warm as well. <laughs> hey, you could do this, eh? Hey? Oh, so. You could do a bit of this. Just a stunning, stunning room. I'll show you the views now. There's the bathroom, the toilets, the bathrooms, and then look, look at the deck. Sure, and look at the views. The yachts right here. Absolutely gorgeous. So we were just asking Alan what, uh, how much this room costs? How much is a money? So this room is just under 7,000 Rand a night for two people, yeah. including breakfast, which is just about and just under 350 US dollars. And I promise you guys, it is worth it. This And that includes breakfast, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely worth it. Alan, thank you so much for the tour. We really no appreciate it, buddy. No Especially a, a fellow KZN boy. Yeah. There's the restaurant down there. So it's really good. It is wheelchair friendly, this hotel. Um, just look at all the trees and uh, wow, look at that down there into the restaurant. Guys, this place is lovely. So that is where the Loft Boutique Hotel is, right there on the water, the one we were showing you just now. It's a four star hotel. And then look out across the bay. Wow, what a position. So we're at the Garden Route National Park and they breed the nice and seahorse. It's the world's only estuarine seahorse species and is only found here in the Kierbombs River. It's why I play in nice and estuaries. So um, yeah, let's see if I can show you them. They are in a tank here. I can see if we, we can see if we can see them. So there it is. That's swimming. It's a, the female or the male. I'm not sure which one that is. But look at that. So there's another one of these rare nice and seahorses. And there's also a pamphlet on the table. And there we go. There's another one. That is so cool. So if you come here, you can come see the nice and seahorses. So here we are at the uh, the nice waterfront. And uh, you were telling me about the oysters, Mani? Yeah. Okay. Um if you come to Nisna and you love oysters, this is the place. I think they actually breed them here. But Nisna's famous for its oysters. Okay. I don't like oysters, but I <laughs> love oysters. Jane loves them. So let, let's go and wander around the, the nice in the waterfront. So as we come around the corner here, there's lots of restaurants and bars and there's the yachts. Hey? Yeah, this dry dock's been recommended. Oh, the dry dock? Yeah. Got recommended as a, Take, have a, as a restaurant. They, every day. they got hake and calamari seafood platter for two. It's quite good. Two ninety five. That's not bad at all. Fridays is half price sushi, which apparently is amazing. Okay, so that's been recommended, and it's got a lovely spot. Look, so you sit here or inside there, and then uh, over here you've got the yachts, and this is where all the boat trips also leave to go, and you can take a boat around the the lagoon and out to sea, and whale spotting as well. Yeah, you can do whale spotting yeah, from there's, Nasa. Yeah, there's, there's boats that go out to do whale spotting. From See. about um, now, I think until about November. Yeah, so, so this so it's about from June onwards. Yeah. So you can see southern right whales and humpback whales around here. See some of the boats. 
so uh, here's a signpost of all the places and how far they are away Manila we want 11,175 if you're from Manila that's how far you're from there Bangkok if you're from Thailand 9,305 k's there's a whole lot Singapore 8,782 8, wherever you are in the world there's your distance so uh, here's the tiki bar it looks quite a nice place to come have a sunset drink there are the guys behind the bar there and just all around yachts and shops and restaurants yeah really come down to the Nisland waterfront it looks like a great place there's a walking street there I don't know where are there Cindy in one of the shops but uh, it's really great all kinds of restaurants as well Hi everybody, we've arrived at our uh, place for tonight, this is it, lovely views over Nisna, which that's the Nisna Bay, and uh, this is the place we're staying in, it's an Airbnb, a little bit cold, it's about 9 degrees Celsius, so very cold for Cindy and I, we're not used to that, but it is a lovely room, hello my honey, hello. Hello. this is a lovely room, hey? Eh? Really I'm going to close the door here, just because I'm cold. So how much did this cost us, money? Uh, about just over a thousand rand, which is what about five hundred US dollars. Yeah, no, not five hundred I mean, US. Fifty US, US dollars. Not five hundred. <laughs> yeah, five hundred US dollars. We'd be buying there. Fifty yeah. US dollars. Look how lovely this is. Yeah, so modern and so nice. Really so it's nice. a nice clean room, and Cindy's very happy. And there's a little kitchen, and uh, there I am. I'm wrapped up. I even got a beanie on. Hello, everybody, and it's got a shower, which is really nice. And then it's got a toilet with a view. So that's fantastic. Mahani, well done. Well Actually, done. Did a good yeah, one, you yeah. did a good one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have for two nights, eh? Yeah, two nights. So we're gonna explore Nisna and surrounds. So we're looking forward to that. It should be no rain tomorrow. It's whole time. There's a Where are we now, Mahani? So we're about six kilometers from Nisna. Oh there, that's getting a nice echo of that uh, sign. And but, it's windy again. And it's windy again and chilly. But we've come to a restaurant here at Brenton. It's a beautiful area. If you can find a B&B here or something, it's stunning. But look at the, the beaches here, stretching off there. Sure, it's a long stretch of coastline and beaches. Wow, look at this. One thing uh, this area has in abundance is amazing, amazing beaches. So I believe this is the restaurant we're going to, Butterfly Blue. Uh, we're not sure. We got recommended by Alan from uh, the hotel, the Loft, the Loft Boutique Hotel. He said to come to Brenton and try Butterfly Blue. So we're going to come try Butterfly Blue. Looks amazing. There we go. That's the blue restaurant there, the Butterfly Blue. Absolutely gorgeous. Hey, tough in Africa, right? Eh? Oh, they got, have they got a deli? So this is where we're sitting and uh, I think they got a special today, Hammer huh, Honey? Yeah. Go have a look. And then that's our view. Look at that. This is the, the restaurant. There's a cocktail bar. I believe they make nice cocktails. There's even a fire going in the, in the begins there. There's a fire going inside. There's another fireplace over there quite chilly here at the moment so my honey there's your food mm. but hake and chips and calamari how much was that that was 125 rand which is about six us dollars six us dollars yeah so it was a special today and there i've got the same so and there's our view so this is a viewpoint here that's down to brenton on sea down there just look at this from here you can see uh, whales and that people can spot whales but just look at this coastline it's absolutely beautiful and uh, I believe the whales come into the bay here and there's another little town over there but look at these beaches just absolutely gorgeous so we're now at uh, Margaret's viewpoint 
is Margaret's viewpoint, and this viewpoint overlooks Neisner. So there's Neisner far away there in the islands where we were to earlier today in the harbour, the waterfront. And then it comes across here, we're staying up over there. And what's this little town in front here? Uh, and this is Belvedere Estate here below us. And there's an eagle coming past. Beautiful. But look at that. There's Neisner and its islands and the heads are around the corner. It's just absolutely gorgeous around here. What a privilege to be here. So my honey, have you enjoyed uh, Neisner? I really have. Hopefully, nice, eh? I'd love to come back and, um, uh, in summer maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's been a little bit, uh, it would little have been better cold. in summer, but I think if there's more people in summer. I can imagine though in summer with the beaches and uh, it would just be absolutely stunning. And we believe there are a lot of foreign tourists coming here at the moment as well. Yeah. So people Apparently from Saudi from, and Europe. and From September to March. Yeah. It's uh, peak season and very busy. Yeah, so, and one last look. So there's Belvedere below us and across to Nisner. Beautiful. So we're in Belvedere, which is right near Nisner, and we have found this old Anglican church, eh? Yeah. It is absolutely gorgeous, eh? Look at this. So quaint. It's so, so, like, it's just so amazing. quaint and yeah. amazing. So yeah. unexpected to find it in Belvedere. Belvedere, which uh, we looked at. Belvedere was started in 1849, so we're going to try and find a date on this church. But look at that, we're going to go to the front now and there's a old graveyard here as well. But let's go and have a, a squiz if we can find out the age of the church. Here's the interior of the church, I love the stained glass windows. Wow, look at the original stonework. It's incredible. I'm just going to go up here to the, the altar, the see, try and find out how old this building, it looks old. So look at that, look at the, there's the windows, and then if you look up, it's got the wooden beams up there. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's some more um, stained glass windows, just absolutely beautiful. Look at the stone. This church is old. And it's just uh, beautiful windows, and look at that, absolutely gorgeous. There's the back of the church or the front of the church whichever way you're doing it and we discovered that it was built in 1855 how cool is that this church so if you're in Nisner come to Belvedere and come look at this amazing it's so peaceful around here as well these graves here from 1872 and sure it's just amazing this this part of the world absolute surprise we didn't really didn't expect this honey what a cool little find, eh? It really is. Sure. Wow. Yeah. What a nice cool to church. find some history in South Africa. Yeah. That is so cool. We're still in Belvedere, and it's got so many trees. It's so quiet. You can't believe it's so close to um, Neisner. And it's just gorgeous. And it's got walkways here as well. Uh, we're going to go out onto the jetty. And it's just... But you can do these walkways... Looks like you can go take walks along the the beach, well, the lagoon front here, and then and yeah, Cindy in front of me. We're just going to walk out onto the jetty. Hey, my gorgeous, you having fun? So we can come sit here, and you can come relax. There's no boats here, hardly any boats here at the moment. So if you look back here, you can see some of the houses and they all got waterfront and it's just, sure, it's so much quieter and better than, uh, for me, than <laughs> nice, the nice is hectic. But, uh, and it's an old town, 1849 it was founded, Belvedere, it's just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So at Belvedere we found a little forest walk along the edge of the lagoon. So we're just having a, a little bit of exercise. Enjoying our day. This place is beautiful. Truly is beautiful. So there's a hotel on the original estate. This beautiful old home. 
Uh, we're just wandering around again what Dane and Cindy do in their cottages. You can stay here and uh, Look at the, the cottages. Wow, that is just gorgeous. Look at the cottages. There's a swimming pool down there This must be the original the actual original home But uh, yeah, this is Belvedere estate and it's just Yeah, some of the cottages. Yeah, Look at the views. Hey, my honey, how did you even know this was here? No, how stunning are those little cottages? Yeah, that at? would be amazing. And then look across to. And it's so peaceful here. Yeah, there's across to Nisna over there. Wow, this is. Let's go and have a look at the hotel. Oh, is this George Rex's George house? Bought the farm, ate out of the estate of Hindu in 1830, and named it Belvedere. So this is Belvedere, which was bought in 1848. So George Rex is rumored to be a son of a king or related to the king, one of the kings of England. So he has the original farmhouse. Lovely. We're just wandering in. There's the there's a staircase. So the official name of the hotel is the Belvedere Lagoon site. And this is just uh, one of the rooms. Hey, so cool. Check at the, again, the wooden beams. If you're in England, you're probably thinking this is what our houses look like. But in South Africa, <laughs> we don't get, we don't get history like, like this. So not, this is great. Yeah. This. So this is fantastic for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's actual drawings of the church, that uh, the Holy Trinity Church that we showed earlier on. There's a painting of the church. This is ancient, must be ancient dye paintings and drawings of the actual little old church. So this is Thomas Henry Duffy, who is the founder of Belvedere House and Belvedere Church. That's the guy. So there it is, the original estate house. Belvedere Estate. Very, very cool. Very cool place to stay. We're going to try and find out some rates in that now. Mahani, next time we're in town here, I'm staying here. Yeah, you're bringing me to stay here. Yeah, this I'm is these little cottages and they've got little fireplaces. I'm and putting my foot down and I'm coming to stay yeah, here. Yeah, I'm coming I'm to tired stay. Of the st yeah. <laughs> other stuff we stay. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mahani, uh, we believe it's like 2,100, like now, this season, which is slightly out of season. Yeah, 2,100 rand a night. For a one bedroom cottage. Including breakfast for two. Which is about a hundred US dollars. hundred US dollars, which is not bad. And that's what you're getting. And it looks like it's got a little fireplace. They haven't shown us into the rooms. But uh, it just looks beautiful. But look at the views. That's your views. Hi there, everyone. Thanks for watching this video. This is Dane from Midlife Travel Tales. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and leave your comment if you enjoyed the video. And have a great day.